What is the creepiest glitch in the matrix you've experienced? I was 11 or 12. Early 70s. Dad came home one Friday and announced we were going to Kings Island, a fairly new amusement park, tomorrow. I begged him to let me invite my friend Chris to come along. He said okay. As long as Chris could pay his own way. Great. Off to the phone I went. Pick it up. No dial tone. Hello. Ohm underscore I underscore God. Is that you? Chris? I was just calling you. What's up? I was calling to ask if you'd like to come to Kings Island tomorrow. But you have to pay your own way. No phone ever rang. We both called each other at the same time. To ask the exact same thing. Was going down the stairs and went past my brother who was coming up the stairs. Said hi and he sort of mumbled back. Got downstairs and walked through to the kitchen. Only to find him standing there. WTF. Had a dream of some kid that I had never seen before dancing at a busy party. He was wearing a blue shirt. Black pants. Had her hair. And there was a purple strobe light on the wall behind him. Wake up. Think to myself, hey. What an odd dream. And carry on with my life. Several years later I was at my cousin's wedding reception. Chillin' and hanging out with a different cousin. Music comes on and we start jumping up and down. And then I realized that I was reliving the dream. Same clothes. Same hair. Same purple lighting in the background. I swear to God my mom told me my cousin died from an overdose a year before he actually did. So when she told me and I replied yeah. From an overdose. Right? She was shocked that I already knew. I thought she was somehow messing with me until she showed me his death date. I still can't really explain that one. I'm a security guard at a distribution warehouse. Sometimes I have to work graveyard shift. During this time the only people on the premises is me. And a rare truck driver bringing in a late load. Our guard shack is concrete. With sliding glass doors on the sides, no locks, and big windows in front and back. Sometimes when I'm the only person on the premises. I'll see a reflection of someone walking past the shack. Every inch of this shack and the yard is covered by security cameras. No one has shown up on the footage when I see these reflections. I have dreamed of two or three situations before they actually happen exactly as in my dreams. It can be a DJ VU because I remember dreaming about it. It wasn't just a feeling of familiarity. A few nights back I was wide awake in a guest bed at my place and heard quiet footsteps and then my wife say hey gently at the door. It seemed weird. So I got up to see what she wanted and she was fast asleep in bed. Before you ask. I was in a separate bed as I have a cold and have been snoring really loudly. Not especially creepy. But it did used to unnerve me when I was young. When I was little I used to have a Thomas the Tank Engine book with fold out parts and flaps. There was this one part which was like a shed and you could lift a flap to see inside it. Inside was all the usual gardening slash shed paraphernalia. But there was also a black cat set in there. Hey raise the glitch though, I swear the cat wasn't always there. I used to love that book. But every time I read it I would get to that page and guess whether the cat would be there or not. Not a clue what that was all about really. But it creeped the young me out. A couple of weeks ago my dog Coda came into my room and started to try to jump on my bed which she was successful of doing after a couple of tries and I gave her a little nudge to you know get off my bed. She jumped down and left. Then I heard my phone downstairs so I walked down and get a call from my grandma who said she made some food. So I said okay I will stop by and come eat. I get my jacket on and get ready to leave. I get my keys and grab my dog's leash to take her. We got in the car and drove for about 10 minutes then arrived. I was eating and talking to my grandma and things. But when I was getting ready to leave I couldn't find Coda. I searched everywhere in the backyard in the front outside nowhere to be found after a good hour of searching my grandma's neighborhood it started to get dark it was about 9. 
30ish so I decided to come back and check the next day I left and went to sleep. The next morning I woke up because I heard something downstairs. To my surprise it was my dog and at that point I thought wait what? Later I came back to my grandma's to tell her I found my dog. As soon as I arrived I told. After I told her about how Koda was home I thought to myself did I even bring her I asked my grandma and she said yes I did because I left the leash in her living room. I then asked my grandma to watch her footage on her cameras from last night and there was no footage of the Koda in the street or leaving the front door. But there was footage of her entering the house with me. I went home later Koda was still there until this day I still don't know what happened. Long ago when I was kid. My younger brother and me were driving our bikes on the embankment alongside the river and there was a huge dam thingy on the river. I grew up in this town and I never knew we had a dam. When we got home I told my mother that it was the first time I have seen the dam. And she did not know what I was talking about. Later I returned there was nothing there. My brother does not remember. But I have seen it as clear as day. I'm sure it was my imagination. But it's strange. I did not dream it. Since my brother remembered that we were there. He just doesn't remember the dam. Poured a freshly boiled water to a glass. Walked over to check my email on the phone for less than one minute. I'm very sure because the same song is still playing. Walk back. The glass of water is room temperature. I might just have had a stroke. Never checked. I was sitting on my porch and had my debit card on the table in front of me. I went inside to get something to drink, patio furniture inside and a 6 4 privacy fence around the yard. I also lived alone. Went back outside and it was just gone. I searched everywhere. Inside and out but couldn't find it. Nothing was withdrawn from my account so two days later I cancelled it and requested a new one. Two weeks later I went out to sit on the porch. I did this every day, and the old card was sitting right there on the table. It just ducking appeared. There was nothing else on the table. It just was gone. And then it wasn't. Not long after September 11th. On a Friday. I got up to go to class and had one of those mornings. Broke a glass getting something to drink. Tripped over something going to my car. Was late to class due to a wreck on the way there. Not me thankfully. While at school we heard about a plane crashing. Something about the wings blowing off. Went to work. Went home. The next morning my roommate wakes me asking if I'm skipping class today. After he convinces me it is still Friday I get up and go to class. After noticing the glass I broke is not broke. On the way I pass the same wreck in the same spot. All day I wait to hear about the plane but it never happens. Ends up kinda a normal day. The next day they arrest a shoe bomber and I have wondered if someone rewound that day to stop him and somehow I didn't reset with it. So. Before my husband and I were married we lived separately. He would come over and spend time then leave later at night like 11 or 12. He left one night out my front door which has three locks, a lock on the knob, a deadbolt, and what I call a hotel lock. It's a lock that you flip the long piece over onto a short peg and then the door can only be opened a few inches. Well he left and used his key to lock the knob and deadbolt. But I thought to myself I have to go lock the hotel lock. I come down and it's locked already. Absolutely no way he could have locked it from outside. 10 years old. In grandma's front yard. She keeps her yard immaculate. Award worthy. It's dusk. Family get together. Mom says toss me the car keys so I do. My throw is short by finger lengths. I assume they landed in the short grass. But we never found them. That was 30 years ago. The yard has been mowed hundreds of times. The house is still in the family. Still well taken care of. No keys. Ever. In my childhood. Kindergarten in USSR. I distinctly remember the sky going dark for some time. Teacher rushing us all inside. Then back bright again, unknown time later. My parents denied there was solar eclipse that day. I couldn't find any record of one either, though should check again. 
I distinctly remember that. My partner and I have the same vivid memory of something happening that never happened. We are both convinced that our friend was with us at another friend's wedding and he fixed the sound system during the reception. Except the friend we remember fixing the sound system was not at the wedding and does not even know the person who was having the wedding. But we both distinctly remember our friend not only being there, but actually saving the day. We sometimes catch ourselves talking about it and once praised our friend for saving that wedding and he was like what? Who's ex? I wasn't even there. I was going to lunch with two co-workers. We were discussing another co-worker. One CW made an assessment of the CW we were discussing and I agreed with him. He looked at me and said he didn't say that, he was thinking it. CW2 agreed he didn't say it. I was reading on my laptop in my bedroom. And suddenly I hear my best friend calling my name. And it sounded like she was talking through the phone. I look around for my phone. Thinking she has called and somehow one of my siblings has answered and has hid the phone somewhere to prank me. No phone around. Nor siblings. And meanwhile my bestie is still talking answer me why aren't you talking and then it goes silent. I get really nervous. Start crying and asking my siblings if they have something to do with this. Or am I going crazy and hearing voices? They all try to console me. Later. I find my phone downstairs. The next day I tell my friends about it. And Bestie says that she did in fact call me last night. And I did answer. And she kept calling my name for a couple of minutes thinking I was playing with her. Until she eventually hung up. To this day I don't understand how the phone just answered the call on its own and how I was able to hear my friend from upstairs.